In the future, will wind power tapped by high-flying kites light up major cities? A new study by scientists Kim Caldera at the Carnegie Institution and Christina Archer of California State University identifies prime locations for exploiting high-altitude winds in the jet streams. Jet streams are meandering belts of fast winds at altitudes between 20,000 and 50,000 feet that shift seasonally, but otherwise are persistent. Their winds are steadier and ten times faster than winds near the ground. The study found the highest wind power densities over Japan and eastern China, the eastern coast of the United States, southern Australia, and northeastern Africa. The median values in these areas are greater than 10 kilowatts per square meter. The analysis included assessments of high-altitude wind energy for the world's five largest cities, Tokyo, New York, Sao Paulo, Seoul, and Mexico City. New York has the highest average high-altitude wind power density of any U.S. city, with an average wind power density of up to 16 kilowatts per square meter. For cities such as New York that are affected by polar jet streams, the high-altitude resource is phenomenal. High-altitude winds globally contain enough energy to meet world demand 100 times over. One technological scheme proposed to harvest this energy includes tethered kite-like wind turbines at the altitude of the jet streams. While there is enough power in high-altitude winds to power all of modern civilization, the wind can still be expected to fail about 5% of the time. Constant power would require backup, massive amounts of energy storage, or a continental or even global-scale electricity grid. So, while high-altitude wind may ultimately prove to be a major energy source, it requires substantial infrastructure. The research appears in the online journal Energies. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.